Brooklyn's Radio presents Surrey Business Affairs with Jackie Mitchell. Hello and welcome to Surrey Business Affairs with me, Jackie Mitchell. We'll be covering subjects relating to business, the challenges facing businesses in the area, as well as new opportunities and innovations. But to start with, I'd like to welcome our first guest to the studio, Rob May from Ramsack. Hello, Rob. Hello. Good of you to join us. Thank you. Can you, before we get into uh, your TED talk, which you gave recently, perhaps you'd like to give us a bit of background about what did you do before you set up Ransack? Uh, well, I mean, Ramsack, I've been MD of Ramsack now for 26 years. So uh, that's a long time. Um, I'm also alongside of that, the chairman of IOD in Surrey. So uh, long, long time, long career uh, spell within the IT industry. And what does Ramsack do exactly? We make IT simple. Ah, okay. So now we get on to the, the TED Talk, which you just recently gave. So how did you come to, to do a TED Talk? It's interesting, actually. So um, two years ago, I attended a TED Talk. And I said at that point, I really want to do one. This is, this is what I want to do. And I, I pushed the doors uh, a number of times wanting to do one. And I'd written a talk that I'd given to a number of different business organisations, which was on the power of positivity in the workplace. And when I finally got the call to say, yes, OK, we'd like you to come and do a TED Talk, they said, what do you want to talk on? And I said, the power of positivity in the workplace. And they said, no, we don't want that. And ah. I said, oh, OK. And they said, <laughs> you, you know, give, we, the theme for the day is technology and we'd like you to do a, a techie subject and that's your background and so on. So I gave them four subjects that I could possibly talk on and they chose cybersecurity. And I thought, ah, oh, that's the least positive subject I could possibly talk on, but nonetheless that's what I did. And it's funny how things happen because it's been a it's been a huge success and there's well, it's had there's, thousands of downloads and views, hasn't it? Absolutely. I mean it it's over over thirty thousand now. Mm. And uh, and that's all all around the world, and various police forces are using it, and schools and universities, and and it's it's quite exciting. Given that the talk only happened in November, it's amazing the reach that it's had. I'm doing a another uh, radio interview uh, next week for a, a station in Houston, and it, it it's just. You know, it's just the, snowballed, really, absolutely. then, hasn't it? Yes. Absolutely. And can can anyone give a TED talk then? No. So the, the well, I guess you can, um, but there's a there's a selection process and um, and the, the the talks are you know I love TED. I use TED all the time. I use it in internal training. Um, I run a, a business school as well within within Ramsack, which is about training the next generation of of leaders. And in almost every session, there's a TED talk that that I use. Um, and of course, for those who don't know, TED is a non-profit organisation and it's devoted to spreading ideas, usually in talks no longer than 18 minutes. Absolutely. And I think that I think that's really important. So you've got this 18 minute limit. And when you stood on stage, there's no notes. It's, it's you and the cameras and a, a clock at the back of the room that's counting down from 18 minutes. Anyway, let's get on to the content of the talk, because I mean, I was fascinated by some of the facts that came up. So every three seconds, someone suffers from identity theft online. And it's cyber crime is bigger than drug co drug crime. It cost four trillion dollars in 2017, rising to one trillion dollars a year. I mean, that's phenomenal, isn't it? Absolutely. And I mean, four trillion dollars is just huge. And I, I, I did a uh, calculation. In fact, I've, I've since written a book about that, that stemmed out of the, tem the, the TED talk. And uh, to put four trillion dollars into context, if they were one dollar bills and you stack them on top of each other, they would reach the moon and they would weigh 40 tons. And as you say, the cost of cybercrime is rising by a trillion dollars per annum. And so tell us about the book then. What's the name of the book? Uh, well, the, the name of the book is We're All Porn Stars. Um, Very catchy title. Absolutely. And it was how I started my TED talk. And uh, it was a bit of a gamble. Um, but the, the point of it is um, on social media, there were all sorts of quizzes and games. And there was one that caught my eye that was, what's your porn star name? And to work out your porn star name, you take the name of your first pet 
and the name the first part of the name is the road that you lived in when you were a child and that's your porn star name mine smoky pound yeah <laughs> so so i asked the audience i told the audience this and i asked them to turn to the person sat next to them and and introduce their porn star alter ego and there's great hilarity and, mm, and so yes on. there was wasn't there yeah but but the point is what i'm asking people to do is share information that would be used for their password retrieval for things like their online banking. Yeah. So actually yeah. it's quite sinister. Yes, indeed. Yes, and also the other sinister part of uh, your talk was when you um, just demonstrated how people went into a coffee shop and in return for liking the coffee shop's Facebook page, uh, the people in a, in a van in there with their laptop could identify all sorts of information about the people, where they were worked, where they were married. I mean, that was quite amazing. Absolutely. And in that amount of time yes. as well. Yes. Um, that was done. That that video was done by an organisation called uh, Identity Theft, which is part of CFAS, which is a non-profit cyber organisation. And it was just to illustrate, you know, why why are you liking things on Facebook, and what does it mean, and what can people do with that, and and what digital footprint are you leaving? Yes, and also the other interesting one was the survey that um, if uh, if somebody gave them a, a Mars bar, they would enter in their name and their password. That yeah. was another incredible um, revelation. Absolutely, and and it's it's um, it's it's nonstop. So um, I'm I'm actually writing another book at the moment, which is a child friendly version of the book, and uh, it's so it's currently called uh, We're All Stormtroopers. And this was on the back of, uh, well, two things. One, a number of people who have read the book and said, you know, I'd like to share this with my children, but I don't want to have the conversation about what's a porn star. But also, I then saw another scam over Christmas, which was directly aimed at children uh, and with the release of the current Star Wars movie. And it was to find out your Stormtrooper code, get your dad's credit card, and you need to share the 12 digit number from the front of the card and the three digit number from the back and that's your stormtrooper code My and goodness. it's i mean it's blatant absolutely yes and you know often you look at these things and you think nobody would be that foolish but if you look at things like the porn star uh, you know one on facebook that got literally thousands and thousands of people sharing that information so what's the answer then? What should people be aware of, especially business owners? It's, a, it's about awareness. I, I talk about building the human firewall. When a client, when, you know, Ramsack works in cybersecurity and we do a lot of work around it, but everybody, nobody can p protect themselves in totality. You know, the FBI... Uh, I saw I saw the FBI speaking 18 months ago, and they said at that point there were two types of business, those that have suffered a cyber attack and those that will suffer a cyber attack. And then in the summer, I was in Canada with Microsoft, and the same speaker from the FBI was there. And he came out onto the stage and he said, there are two types of business. And I said, I've heard this talk before. Um, but this time what he said is there's two types of business or organisation, those that have suffered a cyber attack and those that don't know they have. How sinister is that? Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. And the, the point is, when we have a breach, people are learning about you. They're profiling you. They're learning who you bank with, who you communicate with and, and so on. And and really, you know, the lesson is is about education and awareness and trusting gut feelings and enabling staff to to question and to push back and um and so and and for all of us to be having this open discussion about the fact that actually there is a lot of you know sinister um cyber activity going on Yes, because I know one of the other um, illustrations in your talk was that uh, some staff member got an email, um, a, a message from the MD who told her to, to, to transfer money, and so she did it without question. That happens all the time. So that's called, um, that's called a whaling attack, and, uh, which is a form of phishing aimed at the big fish in an organisation. And in the UK, there's a whaling attack every five minutes. 
Oh my goodness. Well, we'll have to leave it there, I'm afraid. Well, thank you very much for coming in. So how can people get copies of your book? So on Amazon, um, in all countries. So the book's called We're All Porn Stars. And, uh, and the TED Talk's obviously available on, on uh, the YouTube TED channel. Yes, and we've also put the link on the Brooklyn's Radio Facebook page as well. And would you like to give us our, your uh, website address as well? Yes, so company website is ramsac.com, R-A-M-S-A-C. Okay, thank you very much, Rob. Thank you. So that was Rob May from Ramsac, and the next part of our programme, we'll be going to talk to Kate and Paul Ratton from Tomcat Gin. You're listening to Surrey Business Affairs on Brooklyn's Radio, for and about local businesses in Surrey. If you've enjoyed this podcast, why not keep up to date with the sound of Surrey by listening live at brooklandsradio.co.uk or through our free mobile app.